Well, hello everybody. My name is Sylvain Rochon. I am here again for another week. I'm still writing my second book called Engineering Paradise, and this video is going to be about the uh, Ministry of Immigration and Citizenship. And um, uh, this is a fairly short video because uh, I think it's fairly similar to what we see in most civilized countries, um, what I'm recommending for the future for the ideal society. Uh, as far as a, uh, an executive around citizenship. And so we have to think a little bit more into the future when we have lots of sensors, we have uh, the internet, uh, uh, complete internet access to everybody, uh, and we have AI to assist in, um, to do a lot of measurements and census, because that takes a lot of effort. And uh, if we want to get a good sense of behaviors and patterns and how many people are inside the country not only the citizens so that because you know through sense with traditional census we can measure how many people are doing what and when and working in different environments and you know at what age and so on uh, but but also the people are passing through uh, AI with lots of sensors and cameras we can identify through using facial recognition, using patterns, sharing data with private uh, private companies, for example. Then the uh, the ministry and the uh, the government can get a much better sense of of the consumption of resources inside the country, for example. How many people are, people are passing through in different areas? What are the needs and wants of different individuals at different uh, different point in time and different times of the year? Uh, different areas and so on. So, so getting data allows the, the, the system to know who's out there and, and thus, well, who needs perhaps some help. And uh, with the online system that we've talked about for many ministries where, where individuals um, can feed back and provide information, uh, make requests and suggests um, collaboratively and very transparently with the government, then this, this particular ministry whose purpose would be to handle not only the immigration, but all just to handle, to make sure the citizens are happy and taken care of. They'll be able to really get a sense from a human point of view, not the resources and the systems and the healthcare and these things, but just take care of the people, right? If you can track them and you know what, uh, what, what's going on and you have a, a live communication with them, then you have the, the staff and AI that are, uh, would be assigned with the Ministry of uh, Immigration and Citizenship would be able to react and act also with, a, um, uh, with some degree of, of information and foresight uh, to help citizen, citizens and non-citizens <laughs> um, you know, achieve their goals, you get, uh, you know, reach for happiness, as happy as they could be, for example, and all these really great things. And, and also, uh, much like the current immigration ministries uh, of, uh, in modern times, uh, automation could also process um, immigration uh, documentation, and facilitate the integration of new freshly arrived immigrants into a certain area that from an area that has different rules and regulations and support systems than then than when they're coming in so so the automation can uh, can play a, a good role but something that is because the ministry of immigration and citizenship's goal is to take up the people like the the humans there's probably going to be a need for a fairly strong uh human presence for a while uh because humans take care of humans best uh generally uh, it's a human thing. <laughs> AI can facilitate all the administration, a lot of the, the clutter that people don't really want to do. But uh, I believe new immigrants will want to be greeted by uh, by citizens and people that know the area the, with the, for the warm feeling, the biochemistry. This is always physical contact and um, in, in human relationships. So, uh, so you know, people will, from different areas will uh, will want to meet with actual individuals that uh, to take care of them to help them out. Uh, in a uh, period of time where they're uh, usually fairly fragile and going into a different uh, different areas, uh, a different country, for example. So that's for the immigration part. But uh, in a nutshell, the Ministry of uh, Immigration and Citizenship is all about love. It's about you know getting making people that uh, comfortable, and of course following the regulations from the Justice Departments and, the, and other places as far as well how many immigrants should come in. 
do we uh, does the nation accept a, a certain limit amount of immigration? Who is accepted? Who is turned back? Um, you know, how about refugees and refugee status and all this this stuff as well? So you need, I mean, it, it's there to process and ensure that the um, that everything's fair and the resources of the country are not depleted by too many immigrants uh, trying to enter into the into the nation at the same time, for example, things like that, uh, and also perhaps take decisions. The ministry can take decisions. Uh, uh, for humanitarian reasons, for sure. So this is, I mean, in a nutshell, this is what my vision is for the ideal world um, as far as ministry. So pretty, pretty simple. But um, I, I think what's what could be different or a significant difference is really the, the mindset of really taking care of the people from a humanist point of view. So that's it for now for this one. The next one is a little bit longer because we're going to be talking about the, uh, my ideas for the ministry of uh, economy and trade and there's a lot of different uh, aspects of this so but I'm going to reserve that for the next video. Ciao for now.